Cause he stay dropping them bangers Use that polo, don't let nobody see you, man Too much mud, sippin' on drunk, the reaper, man Scroll through pictures of myself, gotta face my demons, man If no one knows, come on what is up YouTube it is showtime and I am back with yet again another video now in today's video I will be showing you guys the best silver badges to be using on NBA 2k22 this is just kind of a tip video for all you comp centers out there or just you centers in general park players whatever this is just so you guys can have a better understanding of which badges work best on silver and an opportunity for you guys to save your badge points but before we get started I just want to ask all of you guys please do like comment and subscribe it is greatly appreciated recently i've been very sick so i've been absent the videos have been very inconsistent and i do apologize for that it has been very very it's been a very rough week and even after i've kind of gotten over the sickness i still haven't feel the same i don't know it's like it was really bad i don't know I, it's almost left a scar on me so it's been a really rough week but as business is business i gotta come back and handle business no matter what's going on in the real world so that's what i'm doing and honestly with all that being said we can get into today's video on some of the best silver badges or badges you guys should be using on silver in nba 2k22 so to get started for the first uh, part of the video we're going to basically be doing the finishing so we're going to show you guys so i'm going to show you guys some good silver finishing badges uh let's see first one is limitless takeoff now i've seen lockdowns use limitless takeoff on silver and it works very well limitless takeoff in general is a great badge and it is very op so using it on silver can definitely help you if you guys definitely want to save some badge points another badge is posterizer posterizer i noticed this year isn't as effective as it once was like in prior 2Ks, I feel like Posterizer um, worked a lot better, but this year it's not that great. So Silver, you can definitely get away with using this on Silver. Another badge I see people use on Silver is Unstrippable. Unstrippable is a really good badge. Um, it kind of counters the ball stripper badge so that when you guys are going up, you guys are not getting ripped, plucked, or getting the ball taken from you. Another great badge you guys can use on Silver is Mouse in the House. I see a lot of people use this badge on Silver, and it does work great on Silver. This is more if you're a taller center build. So I say if you're six foot 10 or taller, this badge can really work in your advantage. And if you guys wanna save some badge points, you guys can definitely throw that on silver. Um, Lob City Finisher obviously is another one of those badge. I like to say use it on bronze. So you can really save badge points, but if you really want to, it's great to use it on silver too. And honestly, um, oh yeah, last but not least, I'll probably say every other badge here, I'd probably want higher, uh, but Fearless finisher is okay on silver and honestly I don't really have much anymore to show you guys in the finishing uh, department I really won't force anything or lie to you guys um, I'm only here to speak facts so those are just some of the silver badges uh, badges that I use on silver or no sorry there's one more um, the putback boss badge this is a cool badge um, can definitely be used on silver and you guys can get away with it so yeah that's another one and then we can kind of move on with some other badges so i'm just gonna throw on some random ones so i can get out of here uh next one is well i can't do shooting because i don't well i have i only have one but i'll just show you guys some good silver shooting badges you guys can use if you're a shooting center i do have a shooting center myself uh first catch and shoot silver is really good so if you can get catch and shoot on silver that can work very well very very well um another one is um corner specialist on silver is really 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 good it's really really good like i definitely advise you guys to use that on silver um some ideal silver badges limitless spot up can be ideal for you on silver it can really work it works very well for you on silver um that like then again some badges literally work better on silver like like i believe catch and shoot like every time i've used catch and shoot on silver i feel like i've just shot my best like even when i'm playing guard like i started playing guard rec recreationally it's really nice on silver another badge i like to use on silver are these two right here so you have clutch shooter um sometimes i put it on broad sometimes silver when i'm playing guard or even when i when i've used my popper in the past or in green machine these two are good so especially green machine i like using green machine on silver in specifically and then clutch shooter is also very nice on silver um i'm trying to think of any other ones that i probably use on silver um, I've seen lockdowns definitely use sniper on silver, like I've seen them, but I'd obviously recommend it to have it on the highest because it's a really broken and cheesy badge. And that's basically it. All the other badges around here, I'd probably use higher than silver or lower, just not on silver. 
and then we can kind of move on to the next category of badges uh the next playmaking we have a lot to cover here because a lot of these are really good on silver first one is unpluggable i like using it on silver gold is too high because it doesn't really work and then i feel like sometimes bronze is too low bronze is too low if you're a guard especially but honestly unpluggable is not a very good badge you can get away with unpluggable on almost any level so silver is a great level to use it on quick first step silver i use all the time i use quick first step silver all the time i don't feel as if i feel as if it works the same as it does on gold to be very honest with you guys another badge is glue hands i love glue hands on silver if i had more playmaking i'd be using them on other builds i do so i'm telling you guys what i use which silver badges i use on other builds where i have more playmaking glue, glue hands is really good another one is bullet passer bullet passer silver you guys probably seen when i first loaded up the playmaking screen i use it on silver <clears throat> religiously and it works very well i heard there was like um a myth buster where or something like that where bullet pass bullet passer actually works better on bronze and silver on the lower tiers and it doesn't work as well on gold i don't know what that's all about but that's what i heard uh but i use it on silver and i enjoy it thoroughly on silver another great one is bailout bailout is a very cheesy badge bronze or silver bronze or silver is cool uh, but you guys can definitely get away with it on silver uh needle threader actually i'm not gonna throw that in there because that's just that's just best for bronze that's best on bronze another one is um downhill downhill is not a terrible badge i personally don't use it but if you want to use it it's, it's it's good on silver trust me guys uh downhill is good on silver and then i'll show you guys just some other ones i'm just throwing these kind of on and last but not least i'll show you guys the um the uh defensive some good silver defensive badges you guys can use so as you guys can probably see by the one on screen pickpocket pickpocket i love using it on silver i've used it on half i've used it on gold use it on bronze and silver is just where i like it that's my sweet spot so that's where i prefer to have my pickpocket on silver another great silver badge is hustler hustler is really really good on silver like that's all this this the sweet spot bro it's the dead zone for it you just gotta have it right here and you guys are good to go interceptor is really good too they've kind of nerfed it a few months back so ever since it hasn't been as op as it once was so you guys can definitely get away with it on silver i like to use it hall of fame sometimes i'll switch it up interceptor on silver is good to go um another one is chase down chase down artist on silver chase down is not a good badge like it really just isn't a good badge this year so i'd recommend you guys use it on either bronze or silver but silver is cool um let's see another one is brick wall it varies if you have a heavy center build or you know how to set screens you guys could get away with it on silver um another one is clamps i like using as a center clamps on bronze or silver is my sweet spot that's why i like using it it works well for me especially when i'm coming off a hedge like if i'm hedging for someone and i end up having to switch or pick up or play ball i like having my clamps on silver that's kind of where i like it at and um that's pretty much it or ball stripper can't forget to mention that ball strippers are real nice badge you just got to know how to use it i really don't have it on because i still get ball strippers without ball stripper somehow i think it's the pickpocket that's that's what's doing it uh but ball stripper is still a really good badge you guys can definitely get away with uh using on silver for sure for sure and that is basically it for today's video this wasn't going to be a long video it wasn't going to be a crazy one this is just a video for all you centers out there that like to get exclusive insider tips on how to become a better center and use different badges and to save badge points it's it's really important to save badge points like for example you see how i have pickpocket and this on silver having this on silver is going to allow me to have more badges in other categories so it's important you guys are saving your badge points and using the recommended ones that i mentioned in this video you know any of them just make sure you are saving your badge points uh for something that counts like i'm telling you guys there's so many of you guys wasting your badge points on badges that really don't matter uh but yeah that is all for today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys could please do if you guys would please like comment and subscribe i greatly appreciate it it's been a long week man i've been sick man i, I haven't even been thinking right like just the way i'm talking in this video i feel sloppy but honestly i'm trying my best right now hopefully i make a full recovery real soon uh but yeah once again please do like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one